What's going on guys? Welcome to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Today I'm going to be showing you the Better Sound Mod by Drake. And this is going to be on version 0.0.9b alpha. Basically what this mod does is it overhauls the Minecraft sound engine. Not real drastically, but enough to make it pretty cool. Um, prerequisites for this mod is that you have to manually update your lightweight Java game library for Minecraft. Those are basically when you update your Minecraft, you'll see it downloads a file called LWJGL. And basically you have to go on the form thread for the better sound mod, which will be in the description of this video. And there is a link to download the version of the LWJGL that you need. Once you get that installed into your Minecraft, which is just copying a couple files over into your bin folder, then all you have to do is put the uh, the files from inside the mod zip file into your Minecraft.jar. As far as I know, I think there's an issue with the the Java game library, whereas this mod will really only work on Windows, as of this video anyway. Um, I haven't tried it on my Mac, so I just read in the forum that uh, it only appears that it's working on Windows. So that's just a heads up. And uh, there are some patches for the mod that allow it to work with Optifine and allow it to work with Forge and allow it to work with Industrial Craft 2. So you have three separate patches there to get it working with your other mods. So now that I got the uh, technical mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's uh, take a look at exactly what this mod does. As you will notice, it's eerily quiet right now. That is because basically what this mod does is it looks to see which blocks I mean this is this is my extrapolation of what the mod does. I don't this, there's no real details on exactly how it works, but from what I can tell it takes a look at uh, the blocks that are between you and, and any sound emitting entities like cows, chickens, zombies, um, rain, whatever. And depending on what's between you and the entity it will change the sound effect. So, if I go over here to where the tons of animals are, you'll see it is extremely noisy. But, if I go around the corner and into the here, it's considerably quieter. It's still noticeable, but it's quieter. Um, one thing I can do to test this is I'll break this glass real quick and you'll see the difference. Isn't that sweet? Now, as far as I can tell, different uh, different blocks have different properties, I think. They muffle the sounds a little bit differently. So if I run over here, I think the cobble might make it a little bit quieter. And if you have more than one cobble, let me pick some more here. See, it's even quieter now, so. <laughs> Another test we can do here is we'll stick a record in here. So you can hear the sound nice and clear in here. That's considerably quieter. And it's even quieter now. You can tell it's different. See a little bit more, just, I don't know, a little more realism to the uh, sound engine of the game. So let's go turn this off. 
Now, one other thing you might notice is that don't you hate it when you have zombies around your house, other than farm animals, and they, they're like, no matter how far away they are, they're just really annoying. So with this mod, all but gets rid of that problem. Bet you didn't think they were down there. You can hear them a little tiny bit, but it's better than what it was before. The only thing the mod doesn't do is it, it doesn't really, it's not real detailed in its calculations. I mean, I mean, I'm not a sound engineer, so for all I know, it could be extremely detailed in its calculations. But, for instance, if I were to open this door, like, I would expect to hear some sound coming, coming up this, you know, the, the hatch. Even though I can't see the zombies, the sound would still travel up through the hatch. So it's not detailed enough that it calculates, you know, where the sound is actually traveling. And that's probably a good thing because it would probably kill your game. But, nonetheless, it would be cool. Now, for instance, if I go outside and I make it rain. Uh, rain. Considerably better. You still hear the rain a little bit. Kind of hard to hear it over the cows, though. So I think what I'm going to do is slaughter all these animals. Okay. Man, I spawned so many of them. Okay. Still hear the zombies, but you can hear the rain just slightly outside, which is considerably more realistic than the default functionality. Would be kind of cool if uh, the sound would change based on whether the door was open or closed. It's kind kind of glitchy. See, it turns on and turns off. So it's a little confused by the looks of it. But yeah, so that's that. One other thing this is useful for is if you have that stupid nether portal in your base somewhere and it just drives you crazy and you always have to turn it off. With this mod you can leave the portal running and just enclose it in. Whoa, almost fell on a huge hole. Believe it or not, there's a portal on the other side of this wall. Can't hear it though. But if we go in here you will see there is indeed a portal. So yeah. One other thing that is in enhanced with this mod is the nether. So we're going to take a trip into the nether and you will see the drastic sound enhancements for the nether. It's definitely a lot creepier than it used to be. Whoa. So welcome to the nether. It's a lot more uh, echoey. A little bit more creepy. You bastard. Killed my portal. <laughs> but 
But yeah, that is the nether. Sounds a little more appropriate for the nether, that's for sure. So yeah guys, that is the Better Sound mod by Drake, and uh, definitely a very useful uh, mod, highly recommend it, it just adds a little bit more realism to Minecraft, and uh, doesn't seem to really affect your game performance that much, although my computer is really high end, so. I don't usually notice much performance hit with anything, so your mileage may vary. But uh, thanks for watching, guys.